Welcome to Touchpoints TV. I'm Debbie House, Editor-in-Chief of Retail Touchpoints, and I'm here today with Kevin Sperry, who's the Vice President of Global Sales and Alliances for SiteSpec. Welcome to you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, glad to. So it's the first day of shop.org in beautiful Denver, Colorado, and um, so we, I just wanted to touch base with you and find out a little bit, first of all, you know, what your expectations are for the event this year, and uh, maybe so maybe you can just fill me in a little bit on that first. Well, we're very, very excited about the, the show. It's a very interesting show. This, the, the lineup of keynote speakers is pretty impressive. Right. And, um, and it looks like to be some very actionable um, uh, information in the breakouts that people can bring back, um, bring back to the office and put into practice. So, so are there, are there any specific topics or speakers that you're particularly interested in? Uh, you know, I wouldn't name anyone in particular, yeah. but there's a number that are looking like they'll be very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, great. So is this um, an event that you attend regularly? SiteSpec has attended um, shop.org a number of times and found okay. it to be a, a great venue for networking, uh, meeting with prospective and current customers, exchanging ideas, learning. Yeah. Right. Are there, so are there um, any specific announcements that you're making at this year's event? Uh, we're not making any sp okay. specific announcements at the event, no. And so what uh, what are you talking with uh, current and prospective customers about at the booth this year? Or what, do you, uh, what do you expect, what kind of questions and issues do you expect to come up as they're walking around? You know, there's a lot of innovation and tools available for integrating and unifying the customer experience mm -hmm. across different channels right. in the store, on the move, on the web. and. Um, it's a challenge keeping up with and, and sort of selecting the right mix for your business. So SiteSpec talks about optimizing your um, conversion and your channel uh, experience with the customers through testing and targeting. Okay, so um, do are, are your customers um, primarily in uh, certain industry segments or are you... Know, sort of across the board with the uh, type um, of You know, our, our customers are predominantly in the retail, um, brick and mortar and, um, and e-tailing, mm -hmm. um, but we find that there's a lot of other industries that are adopting some of the same behaviors in their online businesses. Um, travel and hospitality, of course, is, is an extension uh, of e-commerce, but more broadly speaking. Um, financial services as well, and even media and entertainment are starting to adopt some of the same kind of strategies and, and tactics to grow their online business. Mm -hmm. So are they implementing, you think, similar tactics or are they are they able to learn, you know, is retail able to learn from financial services and hospitality and vice versa, you know, just from yeah. some of their experiences? Yeah, I think they are. I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's um, you know, some of the, clearly in e-tail and retailing, mm -hmm. the objective is to convert visitors to buyers and to create um, higher order values, average order values. Right. Those are very clear. Um, but the servicing of customers is also very important. Some of the other industries, um, fina consumer financial services, for example, you know, they're looking really to drive um, cost savings around customer service, as well as cross-promotion of different financial instruments. You know, you have savings account, you might as well apply for a credit card and right. such. And they're using some of the tactics of customer experience, omni-channel reach, and sort of unifying that, and adopting the same tools. Um, Focusing that on um, customer are. loyalty. And, yeah, customer yeah. loyalty, um, long-term, uh, lifetime value, customer value, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, so this year, do you, is it, is it, do you expect you know, the environment to be more optimistic than it has been in the last few years, or what kind of what kind of um, you know feeling are you getting from? I know it's early on, but well, um, yeah, the show's only opened an hour yeah. or so ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think by and large, online business is really booming. Um, yeah. Retailing, retail especially. I mean, we see some of the projections for growth through 2015 in the U.S. worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I think the yeah. whole experience of of being a um, a consumer. Uh, a buyer, as well as a seller, is going to change very dramatically in the next few years. I think it's a very exciting time. What um, What are your thoughts on what's happening with uh, mobile in this space? Uh, I think that people are beginning to focus on and invest in bringing mobile into the portfolio. Right. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, I've, I've forgotten now the exact. Uh, 
um, metrics, but you know, something like over 50% of web traffic is generated from a smartphone at this yeah, point. Yeah, there are different statistics depending on who yeah, you talk exactly, to, but it's significant. Yeah, yeah. And right? growing rapidly, yeah. 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 And the opportunity to uh, market to someone on the go um, is, is pretty important. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us today on Touchpoints TV. Oh, it's and, my pleasure. And uh, thanks to all of you. Have a great day. Thank you.